This is part 10 of ASP.NET Web API tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to create custom method names in an ASP.NET Web API controller. First, let's understand the default convention that we have in place that ASP.NET Web API uses to map HTTP verbs get, put, post and delete to methods in a controller class. By default, the HTTP verb is mapped to a method in a controller that has the same name as the verb or starts with the verb. So for example, the HTTP verb get is mapped to get method or get employees or get something. So within our employees controller right here, notice we have get method. So by convention, this is mapped to the HTTP verb get. Even if we rename this to get employees or get something, it will still be mapped to the HTTP verb get as long as the method name is prefixed with this word get. The word get is case insensitive. So it can be uppercase, lowercase, or a mix of both. So let's change this to, for example, get something and quickly verify whether if it gets mapped to the HTTP verb get. So let's give our solution a build build succeeded. Now let's issue get request. So let's navigate to API slash employees. Notice we get the list of all employees. So our get something method within our employees controller is mapped to the HTTP verb get as expected. Now let's see what happens if the method is not named get or if it does not start with the word get. So within our employees controller, let's change this method get something to load all employees. Let's give our solution a build. So if the method name is not get or if it does not start with the word get, then ASP.NET Web API does not know which method within our controller class to map to the HTTP verb get. So it's going to fail with an error message. The requested resource does not support HTTP method get with status code 405 method not allowed. So build succeeded. Now let's issue get request and see what happens. Notice we get the error message. The requested resource does not support HTTP method get. So if we inspect this request in Fiddler, look at the status code that we got, 405 method not allowed. So since Web API does not know it has to map this method to the HTTP verb get, we get that error message. We can instruct ASP.NET Web API to map this method to the HTTP verb get by decorating this method with HTTP get attribute. So let's do that. Let's give our solution a build. Build succeeded. Now let's reissue the request. Notice we get the list of all employees as expected. Now let's request for a specific employee. So in the URI, I'm saying employee ID is one, and when we request that, notice we get that specific employee. Now, in this case, Web API knows it has to map the get verb to this get method because the method is named get. In the URI, we've got employee ID, and this method has got the ID parameter. So the get request in this case is mapped to this get method within our employees controller. Now let's see what's going to happen if we change the method name to load employee by ID. Let's give our solution a build. Build succeeded. Now let's reissue our request. Notice, though we have requested just for employee with ID one, we're getting the list of all employees. So let's understand what's going on here. Now this get request is mapped to this load all employees method because this is the only method that is decorated with HTTP get attribute. In this case, Web API does not know. It has to map this get request to this load employee by ID method because it is not named get and it does not start with the word get. We also didn't decorate this method with the attribute HTTP get. So Web API does not have any clue that it has to map this method to the get request. Now let's decorate this method also with HTTP get attribute. 
So at the moment, we've got two methods that are decorated with HTTP get attribute. So this method is going to be mapped to the get verb when in the URI, we don't have employee ID parameter. And this method will be mapped in case if we have ID parameter in the URI. So let's give our solution a build. Build succeeded. Now notice when we have employee ID in the URI, we get only that specific employee. When we don't have the employee ID, we get the list of all employees. So we have used this HTTP get attribute to let Web API know that these are the two methods that we want to map to the HTTP verb get, depending on whether we have employee ID parameter in the URI or not. Along the same lines, we also have other attributes like HTTP post, HTTP put, and HTTP delete to map custom named methods in a controller to post, put, and delete verbs. Here is the list. Thank you for listening and have a great day.